This lesson is about creating crayon rubbing coleographs. A coleograph is a type of printmaking where materials are built up onto a surface and then printed. We are gonna be building up our surface using cardboard pieces and we are printing using a crayon rubbing method that's gonna help transfer our image onto our sheet of paper. For my coleographs, I'm gonna be creating sea creatures. For this lesson, you're gonna need some cardboard boxes such as cereal boxes or snack boxes, some white paper, glue, scissors, Sharpie and pencil, some crayons that are out of their wrappers, and don't forget a messy mat to cover your space and keep your area clean. Begin by cutting up your cardboard box using your scissors to create some areas that you can work with, such as using the back and the front of a snack box like this to have some areas to work on. Then you're going to take a sheet of white computer paper, a thin white sheet of paper, and trace the area you have made so this way you know your drawing needs to fit within this size and it can't go outside of it. I'm gonna show you step by step how to create a crab just like that one that I made earlier. Begin by creating a rounded line at the top and swing it around to make the body of the crab. Add in two small circles at the top to create the eyes of your crab. And next is drawing in the arms and the legs of the crab. I'm gonna begin over on the right side with the arm and it's gonna be made in three pieces, beginning with a kind of rounded rectangular shape as the start of the arm. Then we're gonna add in another piece that's gonna come off of that one with a slightly rounded top. And then to create the claw of our crab, it's going to begin with a straight line that matches up, curve that around to make the top of the claw, and then finish off the claw by swinging in another curved line with a rounded bump that comes out and touches back to the bottom. Add in the other part of the pincher by creating a rounded triangle and you have then created the first arm with the claw. For the legs, we're going to create some rounded rectangle shapes that are gonna come out from the side of the crab to create three legs. Each rectangle that I create is going to go a step up and it's gonna be a little bit shorter. And you can see that the next rectangular shape that I'm drawing goes out and stops just a little bit short of the one before it. Then I'm going to draw in the bottom pinchers of those legs, those little pointed tips that come down. And I'm gonna make this edge a little bit more rounded, add in the next shape down here, and do the same thing for the top one. I'm rounding it down a little bit and adding in that triangle at the bottom. Now what's so cool about my crab is that it is symmetric, meaning it is even on both sides. So I do not need to draw the crab's arms and legs again because I already have a perfect copy here that I can use again on the other side. And I'm gonna show you some different techniques to transfer your image over onto your next sheet of cardboard. Remember, it has to be moved over onto cardboard because you need that relief, that texture from the cardboard in order to create that raised part of your coleograph that's gonna show up when we do our crayon rubbing. So all I've done here is cut out each piece that I drew and I'm using it like a stencil to trace it over onto my cardboard. And then I'm using my Sharpie to trace over those pencil lines so I can see the outlines really well. And like I mentioned earlier, this is a symmetric design because our crab is even on both sides. So I can take those pieces and mirror them over onto the other side of my crab and trace those. So no need to redraw the crab's arm again by freehanding it. You can just use your pieces that you made earlier as your stencils and boom, there you go. Now you have two arms on your crab. For the legs of the crab, I'm gonna show you another way that you can transfer over your image. If you do not wanna cut all of your pieces out and use them like stencils, you can always take your pencil over those lines, laying it on top of the cardboard, and press down really hard to create an impression in your cardboard. So here you can see I have now made these impressions in my cardboard that I can go back over with my Sharpie and trace over them so I can see them a little better. And finally, another fun way to transfer your image is to flip the paper over and color with pencil along the back. By doing this, you are pressing the pencil from the front onto the cardboard. So you will see now that I have now printed that image over onto my cardboard. And I can use my Sharpie to trace over it again so I can see those lines really well. So now you have three different ways that you know you can transfer your image from your drawing on your piece of paper onto your piece of cardboard. And now that my crab is fully drawn, I can see that it is symmetric. It is even on both sides and I am ready to then cut out and glue onto my next piece of cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is cut out each piece and use some glue and glue it down onto my cardboard just like it was drawn on my other piece. Remember you have to do this because you need that raised texture when you go to do your crayon rubbing. It wouldn't work if you just used a flat image on a piece of paper. You have to have that raised texture made by our pieces of cardboard. 
And also, I chose to do a crab just because I really like crabs and I'm sticking with my under the sea theme for this week, but you can choose to do any design that you would like. You can make a simpler design made of just shapes if you prefer. And you can continue to build and layer your cardboard pieces together just like I did here on the center of my crab and on my seahorse and my turtle. I chose to have the color side facing up so you guys can see that that is the second layer of cardboard that I've put on all of my designs. Once you're done with your designs, lay your sheet of paper on top and use your unwrapped crayon to do the rubbing. You want to make sure that your crayon is laying flat on the paper. You're not coloring regularly, you're pushing it flat. Holding your hand in one place so your drawing doesn't slip and slide around, you're going to rub on top of your cardboard to start making that print that's going to show up from the cardboard onto your paper. The harder you press down, the darker the colors will be and the bolder it will be so you can see each of the pieces that you made from your coleograph. The most important thing to make sure you're doing while you're doing your crayon rubbing on top of your coleograph is to make sure your hand is keeping that piece of paper anchored on top of your cardboard because if it moves, your design is not going to match up and it's going to look a little silly. So once you are done, boom, look at that. You now have your first print. And what's so great about this is it doesn't damage the cardboard underneath at all. So you can continue to make as many prints as you would like. You can take your colors and you can layer multiple colors on top of each other. You can continue to rub and make many, many prints and use these prints as different things like greeting cards, pictures you hang in your house. You can hang on to these cardboard pieces that you've made of your coleographs and you can save them so you can continue to make prints in the future. I even went back with some other crayon colors once I was done and filled in some other colors on my prints and I even used some scissors to cut them out and create some fun borders for my pictures. So give it a try. Remember, you do not have to make sea critters like I did unless you really want to. You can make any design that you would like. 